Hello, I'm Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Sony Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in Movie Studio Platinum. And we have two video clips there in our media panel. One is of a child coming down the stairs and the other is of a family playing on the beach. And we want to play with these, find out ways to combine both of these or to composite both of these into a single video frame. So I'm going to take the beach. I'm going to use this as my main video. And rather than simply drag it down to my timeline, I'm going to right click and drag it down with a right click. The reason why is when I let it go, I have the option of including only the video. I don't want the audio. So I'm just going to select the option to add video across time. And that adds it to my timeline created a video track in the process. Likewise, I'm going to take the video of Jason coming down the stairs, drag it down with a right click, put it right up above the first clip, select the option to add it across time, and now it too is added to my timeline. It's a little bit longer than the first clip, so I'm just going to trim it back. Keep it simple, so they're both the same size. Now, if I want to turn Jason coming down the stairs into a picture-in-picture, -picture, pretty simple. All I need to do is click on right here, the event pan crop. When I click on that, that opens up the pan and crop window. And just so I can see what's going on, I'm going to zoom back a little. This doesn't change the video itself. I want to move this over so you can actually see in the preview window what's happening. So I made sure my playhead is positioned over the clips that I'm going to be working with. I can zoom back by using the roller on my mouse. You can also manually zoom back by changing the zoom to about 10%. That just gives us more room to work. Notice we haven't done any video effects at this point. And then by grabbing on the corner here, by the way, I do want to make sure that lock aspect ratio is turned on. Otherwise things are going to change shape. I don't want that to happen at this point. So that's lock aspect ratio right there. And then I'm going to grab a corner and just drag the corner down. And as I do, my frame box gets bigger here in the, uh, the video event FX panel. But notice also what's happening in my preview panel is that the video is getting smaller. That's a little counterintuitive for some people. The larger the frame gets here, the smaller the video gets in the video frame. And just drag it over so that the picture is positioned in the upper right hand corner. If, by the way, you ever find this so it only moves one direction, doesn't move up and down, just go over here. Notice I have an arrow that says restrict it to X use only or X movement only. There's also a restrict it to Y movement only if you select it so it's moved freely. You can move the uh, frame box wherever you want. So if I position it here with Jason coming down the stairs in the upper left of the frame, you see that in my preview window, that's exactly what happened. We created a nice picture in picture of Jason in the upper left hand corner with a main video behind it. Now suppose I want to create a split screen where they have equal values on the screen. That's easy enough. Let's just make Jason a little bit bigger here. And once again, I'm going to zoom back. I'm just going to bring the box in a little tighter around him. So that makes him bigger. So he's taken up just about just the halfway point in the frame. So there he is up in that corner. And then I'm going to take the other video, do the same thing. Click on the event pan crop tool. We'll zoom back here to about 10%. And once again, do the same thing, uh, making sure that once again, lock aspect ratio is selected. And I'm going to position it so that it is in the lower right corner. And it too is about the same size as the Jason video. Now I have a nice split screen with Jason sort of overlapping the other video. Very nice, two videos on screen at the same time by using the event pan crop tool. But now what if I want not these videos over a black background, but I want each of these videos to take up one half of the screen. All right, first thing I wanna do is take the background video. We'll open up pan crop for the back, background event or video. We'll zoom back again to 10% zoom. I could do that manually here by the by the way, of course, in addition to using the roller on my mouse, I'm going to make this full screen again. So I'm going to go up here to the preset menu and select default. That'll reset it to full screen. And then I would just want to shift the action over to the right hand side of my video frame. Do that. I'm just going to grab the frame box here, drag it over so that the main action, those women on the beach, is over on the right side of my video frame. Close that. I want to do the same thing with Jason, only it gets a little more complicated when you're dealing with an upper video track. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to take my pan and crop. Once again, I'm going to set it to default so that Jason fills the frame. Now this time I'm going to turn off the lock aspect ratio because what I want to do is crop this video a little bit. 
And with that turned off, now you see I'm not constrained to keeping the video frame the same size. I can come in from side to side here, make it a little narrower. There it is. So that the main focus of the action, Jason there, is kind of centered in that, uh, that section of the video. And when I close my video event FX panel, you see that Jason's there. He's in the center of the frame though, but we've got him cropped down so he only takes up half the video frame. In order to get him over to the left hand side of my video frame, I'm going to go over here to the video track motion, which is essentially the same tool as the pan crop tool, except instead of affecting simply one clip on the timeline, it's going to affect uh, the entire video track. Let me position that again, a more flattering picture of Jason there. All right, so click on track motion. This opens, like I say, a very similar tool to the pan crop tool. And I'm just going to slide it over here and it's going to position Jason in the video frame. So I want him to be over in the left half of the video frame. There he is. When I close that, so we use the event pan crop to kind of trim Jason or trim off some of the excess off the uh, right side of his video. And then we use the track motion to shift him over to the left. And now we have a really nice shared screen here or split screen in which Jason is on the left half and my main video and the action for it is over on the right. So the pan crop tool, very effective for creating split screen and picture of picture effects. Now, if you want to know more about all the tools here in Movie Studio Platinum, be sure and check out the tips and tutorials we have here at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything there is to know about this program, check out my book, The MoviePix.com Guide to Movie Studio Platinum. It's available at amazon.com. And of course, right here at the Movie Pix store. I'm Steve Rizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again at muvipix.com.